What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is going to be about the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock. Why would you want this? Well, you would want this if you're definitely coming from a Mac computer. I use a Mac mini M1 computer, or maybe you're coming from a MacBook or some other Mac that does not have a lot of ports. And let's be honest, if you have, for instance, like me, a Mac mini M1, there's barely any ports on the back. And if you get a MacBook, there's even less ports. And by getting the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock, you're getting up to 14 ports that you can use to extend with USB devices, USB-C slash Thunderbolt, uh, headphone jacks, audio ports, tons of ports built into this in order to get more functionality out of your computer. Now right off the back, the OWC Thunderbolt Dock 3 goes for 250 bucks. It's expensive, I'm not gonna lie, it, it is. 250 bucks for a dock is pretty crazy. But when you factor in that you have this many additional ports and you can connect all these other devices to it, I mean, it kind of makes sense at that point. And plus the quality of it, like the construction of it is very good. So let's go through some of the specs on here. Like I mentioned, it has 14 ports of connectivity and 85 watts of power for fast laptop charging. And then some of their highlighted features are easy connect all of your devices, connect two 4K displays or one 5K display, front SD and micro SD slots for fast media imports, jacks for headphones, speakers, mics, and other audio gear, gigabit ethernet for high speed wired networks, networks, daisy chain up to five additional Thunderbolt devices, backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt Equip Max, includes Thunderbolt 3 cable, and it's available in silver and space gray. Here's the front of the device. You get a micro SD and a regular size SD card slot for this. Those work fantastic. Anytime I've put an SD card into it, it's always been recognized with the Mac. You also get that analog audio in and out. So if you want to plug in headphones or a microphone, you can plug it right in there and it'll work. You also get a regular size USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and a USB 3.1 Gen 2 USB-C port. On the back of the device, you get four regular size USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. You also get that audio out port. You get a gigabit ethernet port. You get dual Thunderbolt 3 ports for fast connectivity to monitors or devices, a mini display port for a monitor, and you get the power port. Now when you hook this up, you're gonna just use one of the USB-C ports on the back of the device and plug it into one of the USB-C port slash Thunderbolt ports on your Mac. Now you can see my setup, it's nothing beautiful, but it's functional for me and it works very, very well and it allows me to plug in every single USB have it be C or regular size USB device into this. And now I didn't have to like figure out ways to uh, plug things in or unplug things in with the back of my Mac Mini just because I was running out of ports very, very quickly. Also, like I mentioned, I love seeing that SD card right in the front of this. It makes it very easy to plug in and take out. And again, it's very reliable. The size of the Thunderbolt 3 dock is you know, not too big. It's almost the same size, at least lengthwise, as the Mac Mini. It's a little bit longer than that, but ultimately it's a very good size and it's about three quarters of the body size of the Mac Mini M1. The power brick that comes with the Thunderbolt 3 dock is basically bigger than the dock itself. So at that point, you know, with the weight of the dock, it's not that bad. The size of it, again, not that bad. In all of those ports, the functionality it brings to your Mac or your, your Mac mini or your MacBook or whatever you're using for a computer for on the Apple side, it works really, really well and I totally recommend it. So if you're looking for extra ports and extra things to plug into your computer because you ran out of them, definitely pick this one up. It works really, really good. Other than that, don't really have anything to complain about for the way I use it. I have a external USB drive plugged into it. You could plug in high speed uh, USB drives as well if you wanted to and get really, really good speeds. So I don't really have that really anything to complain about it. For me, it's very, very functional and it fits my lifestyle great. If you wanna pick one up, it's linked down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.